welcome back to Forza Horizon 4, guys. We are closing in on the end of this game, as crazy as that sounds. We don't have very much to do. Actually, off camera, we did a very, very cool thing. You can see above me here, I am currently only level 5, but I do have this little star next to my name. So what happens in Forza Horizon 4 is you can no longer go up to level 999. You actually go to level 200. And then you prestige. It's not an option. It's just something that happened. I don't know what happens when you prestige. I don't know if you earn more stuff. But we've now prestiged. Which is pretty goddamn cool. Anyways. On the map, we've got a couple of big events to go and do. We've got the gauntlet all the way down here. Which is the really long dirt racing series race. Which I would like to give a go. We've also got this. This is actually the summer showcase for Forza Horizon 4, and I never did it. We still got a lot of stuff to do. So I think today, my big goal is going to be to do this, the gauntlet in Forza Horizon 4. It's the end of the dirt racing series. So I think we need something specifically built for that. We need the ultimate rally car. So are there any good upgrade heroes that are rally cars? Ooh. I mean, we did have that in Horizon 3, so let's see. Maybe there's maybe there's some other stuff, like these are... I, I don't know. A lot of people are saying take the Ford Fiesta. Where is this Ford Fiesta? I assume you guys all mean this. Now, I haven't driven this thing yet. I don't own it. Half a million credit rally car. Yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go Red Bull. Anyways, let's uh, let's see what we can do to this. So this is already S1 class. Maybe we try to get it at the, at the top of S1 class. I don't really know what's available for it i mean we could swap the engine but i i don't really want to do that we're already all-wheel drive the thing looks so cool yeah let's upgrade those front tires 275 you could go up to in the front damn damn 275 in the rear as well those mud flaps no longer fit those rims look perfect for some rally racing that's good really you can do weight reduction on a car that Looks like that on the inside already. And then engine power. Upgrade that turbo and remove the up. Uh, if you remove the restrictors to level 1, that's 125 horsepower. Or level 2, 250. Alright, there we go. There is my S1 ultimate rally car. I'm just going to do a quick little tune for it. And we'll be good to go and hit up the Dirt Racing Series finale. Check out our rally car, boys. This is gonna be such a dope car to drive. It's, this is gonna be real goddamn good. Oh, and our Red Bull paint job looks so cool. Look at that interior. This is what I'm saying. How did they do weight reduction to a car that all? All right, let's just go start the race. Firepuff Cargo's like, I don't have this car, so thanks Nick for buying it so I can see if it's good. So we're going hardest difficulty in the game. My settings are good to go. I just gotta cross fingers and hope this rally car is as good as I sort of think it is. That this thing is as good as I'm saying. So we're starting all the way in the back. Little Ford Fiesta built from the ground up rally car. Let's see what we got. So this is the Dirt Racing Series finale. We're gonna be splashing through water, cutting off road between these trees. Oh, we gotta go. It's all this car looks so cool One thing I did in my tune is I is I made sure to extend the gears because this is a, a it, like I'm saying It's a proper tuned rally car and the thing with a lot of rally cars and a lot of rally cross cars is They're built for very small circuits. So sometimes they don't have the best gear ratio So I fixed that a little bit because I don't really know what this track is going to include We're getting a lot of jumps though, but We've got jacked up suspension. This is gonna be scary. I, I really wanna do well. I'm in sixth place already. We started in last. We've already done half of the work, but usually the thing with these is the, the front of the pack is considerably faster than the back half. This is where my I'm very thankful. I extended my gears. Oh my God, we're still gonna max out. 162 miles an hour even though I extended those gears oh man that's that's not good that might hurt us if there's a couple big straights like that I still haven't gone to the off-road course oh never mind I can't say that anymore we have now there we go off-road course looking dope 
This is where this car should do very, very well. Come on, we gotta keep absorbing those jumps. Fly every which way. Oh my god, do you hear this car? The way it cracks and pops when I let off the gas. Okay, into this corner, just take a listen to the end. Oh, I guess not this corner. Okay, the gears are gonna hurt again. That sound is so good! So goddamn good! If I knew we would have needed so much more top speed, I would have been even more aggressive on those on those gear ratios, but I mean, what will you do? I'm, I'm down in six though. We still got plenty of time, but like, I don't know. I'm a little worried. I've always been, I've been talking the big talk about my off-roading skills. I really got to put them to the test. Like, I'm trying not to break. I'm trying to avoid the water puddles, everything to carry as much speed through in this car as freaking possible. Look at us catching back up to fifth position through the water splash. I love the fall or the autumn is perfect for this race. Like it's so cool to be able to rally like through mud and stuff. It's awesome. All right, we've officially got to the halfway point though and I'm I'm still in six. It's like, come on. Should have taken the Subaru. Should have taken the Subaru. Should have taken the Subaru. Should Thank have you. taken the Subaru. So when I've been saying, like, I'm really good at off-roading. When I say off-roading, I, I, I more likely mean the, like, the cross-country stuff. This stuff through, like, the roads like this and, like, a little bit of rally cross and, and stuff like that. It's like, eh, it's tough for me. Subaru is better. Subaru is better. Subaru is better. Subaru is better. No! All right, this has gone from bad to worse. This was supposed to be the ultimate rally car. We've not done that with this. I mean, yeah, it's a cool looking rally car and in real life, I'm sure it's great. I need to build a better rally car. Like a much better one from the ground up. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I just get dropped two places? Yeah, we will. Except this time, I'm gonna use a better car. Oh, that's a lot. Hey, achievement, tame the monster. Complete a race in any S1 class rally monster. Oh, cool, didn't know that. All right, 14K for that, not bad. Yo, look, dirt racing round nine unlocked. Okay, boys, we need a new rally car. DJ says, take your old car with a Gallo 24 swap. We're gonna make my car into the ultimate rally machine. All right, rally tires. Hell yeah. Yo, drift suspension on an STI? Oh shit. Let's do this one in co-op. We've already done it, so let's do it in co-op. Might as well. We got this. All right, immediately starting eighth already. What, what is the AI doing? Out of my way. Okay. All right, this is just a, it's just a crash. This is also much faster than the other cars we were driving. Already doing better than we were last time. Like significantly better. We're in fourth place and we've barely done it. Sorry, did I say fourth? I meant, hold on, wait a second. Third, hell yeah. The Subi is the way to go. It is the ultimate rally car. Definitely much better than those shit boxes that Mitsubishi makes. All right, good job boys. Blue team's winning. DJ is rocking first right now. We are rocking third, bearing down on this little Ford. We gotta get him. Guys, the AI's pulled away. Along with DJ, I don't know what their top speed is, but it is quicker than mine. Okay, uh, problem, blue team. What the hell's going on? Why are we losing by 500 points? Okay, game, slow mo. What is going on with my game? I just slammed the brakes. I'm like, well, that caused me to lose a position. God damn it. That's not good. Why are we going slow mo again? What is going on with my game? I can't drive like this. Why are you parked in the middle of the road? Why is there a Subaru in a tree right there? The game keeps going slow motion. It's literally so annoying. It's just like, how do you expect me to drive when the car is barely moving? Guys, we're not even gonna finish the race. DJ was legit way too fast. Clearly a Subaru is not the ultimate rally car either. What are we doing? And we lose. By a lot. It wasn't even close. AI finished second, third, fourth, fifth. Another car. I didn't like that car either. That car, I don't know. That was tough. I'll say the lag didn't help. Bentley's a pretty good rally car. It looks really cool. 
I really like it. Some guy even made a galaxy paint job for it. Props to you. I believe in this Bentley so much, the only modification I'm gonna do is take it from the normal road tires, put it on rally tires. Okay, and a, and a little bit of weight reduction because this Bentley is kind of heavy. Take the Mac in. No. So, weight reduction. So we didn't get the individual win on the first attempt. We didn't get the team win on the second attempt. The third time is going to be the charm. I'm telling you. Here we go. This car, why is all of the AI in Alfa Romeo 8C Forza Edition? I have a feeling we're about to destroy the AI. For the simple fact that they are rear wheel drive and we're all wheel drive. I've done this race three times and it's so goddamn long, it takes forever. As soon as we get into the off-road section, they are screwed. Look at this. Look at this. Already up to fifth. This is exactly what happened in the Subaru race. I am aware. I'm up into fourth now. Looking good. All right, we need all of the AI to just crash. I'm just saying, the Bentley is good. Top Gear did this. So I thought, why, why not? We just need to sort of bully the AI out of the way. Okay, drafting, drafting, drafting. We're gonna need to be real heavy on the brakes. And what I mean real heavy on the brakes, we're just gonna use a 4,000 pound car to slow us down. Thank you, Alpha, for... You didn't really slow us down. Guys, my strategy for off-roading today is really not going very well. DJ's drifting the Bentley. DJ's looking like a legit boy. Look at this, though. First and second place in the Bentley. I'm just saying, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, DJ! DJ almost did a front flip. Oh, I almost do a front flip. Oh, I forgot to turn. All right, we're good. Boys, I'm winning. I'm winning a race. I am the Bentley Beast. No way Nick is in front of DJ on his birthday. Shit. Yeah, we spoke too soon. Probably shouldn't get distracted by Twitter. He's drifting again. Ah, uh, problem. I'm just gonna rewind. Reset, reset. No, 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 no. Oh, Goddamn rewind online in a race is the most stupid thing. It's an awful feature. Why would anybody want that? We were doing so well. And now we're in goddamn seventh place. We really need to push if we want to catch up now. My only hope is that is that rear wheel drive of those alphas is gonna is gonna let them down super badly. Ah, uh, there's an AI in the forest! What I said might happen, happened. We're in fifth. What the hell? Don't ask me how the AI ended up there, but okay. And I mean, here's the other good part. If the AI decides to pass you, you can just murder them. Like, chow, get in the wall. There you go. Or you know what? Just eat some bridge. Shit, the AI fought back. Oh shit. AI claps back. Come on, Bentley. We're not gonna let a little rear wheel drive alpha beat us in this race. There is no way. Oh, look at us fly through there. Oh, up one alpha. Oh my God, these guys are slowing down the other alphas. Up the in. Wait, my controller's missing both sticks. You might see a slight problem with my controller. That didn't go very well.